everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Emily, and here in front of me is set number 71396, Bowser Jr.'s Clown Car. This is for ages 6 and up, and it'll be retailing for 10 US dollars starting on January 1st. Thank you so much to LEGO and Land for sending this set for review, however, all thoughts and opinions in this video are my own. First, let's check out the box. On the left-hand side, as always, we can see the set information, but then also you can see a ghost of Mario there because LEGO Mario is not included in this set, so keep that in mind. If you do want to interact with this, you will need to get yourself either a Mario or Luigi. Both do work with this. And this set comes with Bowser Jr.'s clown car, of course, thus the title, as well as a bob -omb. Now, when we turn it around, you can see the Mario starter course up here showing Bowser Jr. in the clown car, and I really do recommend getting the Mario starter course for this set because that's the only way to get your hands on a Bowser Jr., so keep that in mind. This one just looks really cute in the clown car. So now let's check out this set up close. I'm actually going to set aside bob -omb for now because it's a little bit less interesting. So let's check out the clown car. It comes with two large printed pieces on the front there. That is really the only printing that we see on this, but I don't think you really need anything else and the printing detail is perfect. Like it really looks like what we see in the Mario games, so that's exciting. Looking at the bottom, we see this propeller piece that spins pretty well. It's because this cart does fly, so you can have that kind of action going on. It doesn't spin while he's in there, but you can just kind of pretend or spin it yourself. I honestly just think it looks kind of cool. And then he has the arms on either side with the thumbs pointing up. Also, the arms are able to move a little bit I think they look best just kind of pointing straight ahead, but you can really just move them around as you want. And then looking at the interior of the build, this is kind of interesting. So there's no studs to keep your Mario or Luigi in place, but this lifts up and down. So you're able to place it down on a flat surface without the propeller piece getting bent or damaged or anything. And then let's check out how it interacts with Mario. Here we have our Lego Super Mario, and you just place him inside the clown car like this. Again, there's really no studs to hold him in there. And also you need to almost lift his arms up a little bit, otherwise they're gonna get stuck. He starts playing this music and essentially there's really no end to this. You just kind of fly him around and get coins that way. So that's pretty much it. It's just kind of fun, something nice to do. For me personally, I just love this set because it would look great on display but you can also play with it and interact with any of the games, which is kind of cool. And so we're gonna set Mario aside just so you can see how it interacts with Luigi as well. Again, make sure his arms are twisted up just a little bit. There we go. So that's about it. <laughs> Nothing too crazy here, but I think it's really cute. But now let me bring in my personal favorite, Bowser Jr. He just looks so cute in the cart here. He doesn't really fit as well as the others, like he kind of wiggles around a little bit, but it just really reminds me of Mario Kart, and that's why I was so excited for this set. That being said though, there's really no playability with Bowser Jr. in the cart, but it looks really cute. And then finally, here we have bob -omb. Now, this is the exact same bob -omb we have seen in the past, and I'm not really sure why it's included in this set. It really doesn't seem to fit in too well. However, if you are missing a bob -omb, this is a great way to get a very cute clown car, as well as a little bob -omb. so that's kind of nice. Once again, though, everything over here, so the Luigi, Mario, and Bowser Jr. are not included, but I just brought them in here to show you how the set interacts with them. Anyways, let me know all of your thoughts down in the comments below, and if you're into LEGO Super Mario, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.